Hey, this is Stephanie from Dallas, one of your Health Made Simple pros and owner of Techstar Physical Therapy. So today I thought I would talk a little bit about MRIs. I had a patient that came in yesterday and was asking, gosh, probably two or three times, hey, I think I need to get an MRI because I think it's going to really give you a better idea of what's going on. And I have patients all the time that come in and ask me um, if they should get imaging or maybe the imaging is going to give me a better idea of what's going on so that I'll know how to treat. And let me give you a little bit of a lowdown around imaging. So let's talk about some of the research behind it. You can take 100 people with no pain whatsoever, fully functional, I mean, no range of motion problems, strength problems, able to go run, do everything, and you put them in an, in an MRI. 60 to 80 percent of those people are going to have problems. They're going to show herniated discs, they're going to show rotator cuff tears, they're going to show uh, meniscal tears, um, labral tears. So these are this is what you can find with people that are fully functional. So if you have a problem or a pain, let's say in the shoulder, and you get imaging, and let's say it showed a small rotator cuff tear, you can't determine if that's really going to be where your pain's coming from or not because you could have had that before. You don't know. If 60-80% of people have problems with imaging when they're fully functional and you have pain, you don't know if that's where your pain's coming from. And this is where you really need to find a really good physical therapist that can sit down and ask you a lot of really good questions and really understand what's going on because there's a lot of sources of pain that could happen in the shoulder or that could happen in the knee. You could have um, a range of motion loss in your shoulder and some strength loss and having pain in your shoulder and then asking a few questions and really figuring out that, oh my gosh, the pain is actually coming from your neck. So what I would suggest is really finding someone that understands um, well, we'll actually can spend the time with you to ask you really good questions and really go through a thorough evaluation of moving you and seeing how your body responds so they can really get down to the source of the problem. And MRI is not going to do that for you. A great physical therapist, if you're looking for one um, in your area, you can look up the McKenzie website. It's a great, I mean, that's where I got a lot of my training. Their, um, uh, their evaluation process is really amazing, and so that's what I would recommend you go, go in and doing. But MRIs are not the, not the way to go all the time. Now, with that being said, there's time that, that you might need one so that the doctor can know you know, where the source is after you've gone through some physical therapy. But overall, from my standpoint, I, it's not going to guide me any of my treatments that I, that I give my patients. Really, me moving them and asking them questions is going to give me a better idea of what's going on than, than any kind of picture imaging at all. So I hope you enjoyed this information today, and um, I'll be back with some more health and wellness tips um, in the next two, three, four days. If you have any questions on anything that you want to learn, please feel free to um, you know, send me a message and I can find that information out for you to give you some really good quality education. Feel free to share this with anyone. I will be back um, at a later date. Have a good day.